Welcome back. Um, we had some recent games in our Shogi teaching ladder on 81 Dojo that have inspired me to hopefully try a different opening. We'll see if I stick with this decision or not. But yeah, I've recently played Anaguma and lost to a 6Q on 81 Dojo. Good luck. So... I'm going to see if I can play Anaguma against these folks. The answer is probably no. Um, but I think it's still something worth considering. So I lined this up because their king can't get... Oh god. Okay, interesting. Um, Their king is not quickly castling this direction, if it's castling that direction at all. Um, I guess this is what happens when I made up my mind before looking at what they've done. Still think this is fine. Yeah, opposing Rook Anaguma. We're... this is the new meta, guys. This is me committing very hard to a strategy when I have no reason to commit so hard to it. But I'm too proud to back out, so we're just going to go for it. This is the new meta. Enjoy it while you can, because it's not going to be here very long. Um... Oh, did I miss my chance? It's possible I missed my chance here for... I don't know. Uh, pawn up. Opposing Rook Anaguma is not the best decision. But now I'm deciding, like, do I stupidly open everything up before I finished? Because maybe I have some magic tactic here somehow that justifies some nonsense that usually would never make any sense. No, we're just going to finish building the castle. Um, there we go. Anaguma. If it's good enough for Muranaka, it's good enough for me. Uh, his most recent videos uh, were playing and having a game description explaining his recent game where this uh, got played. I have not yet watched it. I probably should have gotten around to watching it, but um, yeah, that's just where we're at right now. Um, okay, fine. You don't want me playing Opposing Rook? We'll play something other than Opposing Rook. If you really want me to play something else, we'll play something else. Um, I'm going to run away like a coward. Um, hmm, I don't know about that. So, well, something got played this game. All of my pieces are floating. That's so cool. Um, okay. So their bishop is threatening this point again. Um, this is so unwise. Dodging back and forth. Because I burn up a tempo every time I do that. But my opponent has not completed their castle just yet. So possibly this retreating bishop move might not be decisive. Oh, typically do half Mino if I'm playing opposing rook. You know, I've meant to like build some kind of graph generator that would keep track of these strats. I never finished building it. Um but something that would just dynamically compile that, hey, if you play this opening, play this castle. 
and just notice the correlations. Like, I want to build that at some point. I'm just too lazy to complete building it. Um, but at some point I'll eventually get to there. But it's good to know, with opposing rook, half me now. That would probably um, ease my concerns a bit. Mm -hmm. So we'll note that. And Oh, the other gold on 4-1 generally protects us from a rook trade. Okay, I could see that. All right, uh, I guess I'm going to go pawn hunting. Um, I always get in trouble for doing... No, like, if I retreat... The retreat doesn't look so bad. Wait, well, grabbing the pawn doesn't look so bad either. We're going to grab it. I love my pawns. We're taking all the pawns. They have no pawn in hand, so they can't attack, right? That's some magical rule that without a pawn, there's never an attack. Unless, like, now they got a rook and a bishop and a pawn, they're all going to smash their head of my rook. My rook's just going to run away. I'm uh, probably taking this lance here. But also, I'm probably going to find some way to defend this. Maybe just retreat the bishop back and pull the rook over. Um, yeah, this bishop looks beautiful, uh, but I don't see a good use for it. Now, if I retreat, they drop a silver here. Uh, I have to be a little cautious. So, as I say, I'm going to be cautious. Let's play a really aggressive move, uh, just to keep the audience on their feet. But also because we're actually threatening some fun stuff here. <laughs> Um, ah, okay, so that's the character of Opposing Rook, is it's a more careful game, more difficult in the opening or middle game. I'm sorry, balanced castles are easier to play due to generals protecting against drop, but full castles are uh, viable too, but it's a different play style with a full castle, and that's what you're saying. With a full castle, it's harder in the opening, but more rewarding later on. Okay, I could see that. That makes sense. So, for example, if I'm playing a full castle, then I can get away with, like, playing fun pawn drops that block opponents' pieces. Um, could have considered dropping that back a square. Um, but there's too much to think about and no time to think about it. So, we'll play the moves we find not the ones we should play. Um, hmm. So if I take this silver advances with tempo, um, I don't have to allow the silver to advance with tempo though. We can say silver advances without tempo. I mean, yeah, it's going to hit the head of my rook soon enough. But how soon is soon enough? Is soon enough actually soon enough? Or is this just a way for me to find some way to attack here? That looks dangerous for them. Um, Go for me.
Oh, yeah, of course. I should have seen that coming. Um... Hmm. Well, that ain't great. That ain't great at all. Um, now we understand. Hmm. Okay. We'll have to fight with what we have. Oh, yeah, yeah. What am I doing? Um, yeah, I activate my opponent's pieces. That's what you're supposed to do, right? Activate your opponent's pieces. Wait, I could have ex offered an exchange here now that the pawn's no longer blocking my bishop. Offering an exchange would have been smarter than what I just did. Um, Hey, we got a free silver. Not really free. Super not free. But you know, it feels free. This is like free in the same sense that credit cards are free. Um, let's see. Whatever. Oh, my silver's hanging. <laughs> oh no, my silver. Uh, this is not great. My bishop was protecting my silver until a second ago. Hmm. Well, thankfully we played Anaguma, which means we survive against everything, right? There's no way that this could ever backfire, ever, because we played Anaguma. Okay, I'm toast. I am super dead. Um, what do we do? <laughs> oh gosh. Um. Nifun sanjubyo. Hmm. Hmm. think this is best. I don't know anymore. Nifun. <sighs> Gotta play something. <laughs> Don't know if I had a better move. Ippun Sanjubio. Whatever.
<laughs> oh, right. I forgot how knights move. Um... I guess by the end of this game, I will understand how a knight moves. Uh... Nijibio. I've been ignoring my king. We'll see how well that pays off. Let's see. They didn't have to sack like that. I panic. Maybe blocking with the silver was smarter. Uh, yeah, blocking with the silver was smarter. Thanks for the game. Uh, yeah, I should have blocked the silver, although, like, there's no surviving that. Uh, let's play another game. Yeah, thanks for the game. Alright. Uh, so we saw that moving the rook ten times is not great. Good luck. Uh, yeah, let's see. Third foul rook on Aguma. Does this work? Am I going to play on Aguma after all? Thought I would. Um. Hmm. All right. Oh, what did I do this for? I did this to make the game more exciting, apparently. Um, hmm. Well, we have a unique strategy on the field now. <laughs> this, I think, qualifies as unique. Uh, okay. Um, sure, why not? How bad could this be? So we've lost our first move advantage. Um, we're under severe attack. Hang on. We're going to play the best we can here. Okay, so so much for this idea that I'm going to play Anaguma, apparently. Apparently that plan didn't survive very long. Um, so we'll just play this instead. Try Leghorn Special. I can't say I'm familiar. Um, check. All right, so we have stuff in hand. Um, hmm. I 
we're just going to ignore what they're doing. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> no, I'm threatening a rook drop here. Um, this is still not my favorite opening, but... Uh, oh, it's the chicken opening, is this thing? Or, I'm sorry, the leghorn opening is the chicken opening. Interesting. I've se I have seen a video where somebody got an avatar of a chicken, and I have no idea how they did it. But, uh, I am proud. Um. Alright, so this... Alright, Half Mino, there it is. We built Half Mino Castle. We're safe. <laughs> we are perfectly safe. Ah, uh, Shogi Wars has a wrong impression of what Leghorn is. Okay. I could believe that. Wait. Okay, so they placed a silver here. Um. Hmm. All right, we're just going to stop delaying this and just play it now. And the idea is that I'm going to sacrifice my knight. And then I'm going to push this pawn and hope that something good happens. Now, you might question, has something positive happened? And I think so. Um, because if my math is right, we played this, which I've been scheming about the whole time, but have not actually mentioned aloud. So I'm forking this knight, and now that there's no longer peace over here, I'm hitting the lance. So I think something positive has happened here. Right, so they dropped this to Not defend. Enough. And now we take a knight and promote. And now we take something more. Oh, is the bishop the right piece to take here? I think so. Looks right. Um, just keep attacking. So yeah, they got a rook. What are they going to do with the rook? Yeah, they... Their king is not safe, so that's the risk they run by attacking so early. Um, you know something's wrong with your attack if I'm the one refuting it.
savage, but true. So, yeah. <laughs> We're going to go with that. Um, Gofun. Not totally sure how to refute this thing. Half of me just wants to snap the silver. And just say, forget this bishop, I don't need that, I can just continue attacking without it. The other half of me is like, hang on, a bishop might be a useful piece, so let's see if we can do something with it. Especially because it's kind of hard for them to protect this point and this point. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I apologize. Like, surely there's some better way to attack than what I'm finding. Every time I attack, like I said about my whole thing with me refuting your attack, um, if I'm the one refuting it, something's not right, so. Um, yeah, it doesn't surprise me if I've colossally whiffed on something very fundamental here. Um... I didn't think it worked any other way, though. Like, I was shooting for this, I could be just completely blind, uh, missing something obvious again, but I didn't see that working any other way than the way I played it. Um, it, Like I said, I could be completely blind, so let's not negate that possibility. Oh. Oh. Especially after I just said I'm considering taking that. Their king was out here the whole time. Okay. I now see where the cognitive dissonance comes from. It's me. Uh, yeah. Alright. Okay. So. Makes sense. Um, that's a mate threat. That's a check. That's a check. Thank you for the game. Dropping the silver there without check would still win the rook. Oh! Oh! Oh, okay. Probably due to this whole mate threat that was looming or something. I don't know. No, the rook is trapped. There's nowhere the rook could go. That's the point. I see. Interesting. Good luck. All right, so we're considering for real Z's maybe playing Anaguma against an opponent who's won six games in a row. Um, I'm still going to offer the bishop exchange first because I'm crazy. Um, 
All right. Temple Wasp Bishop Exchange, let's go. Scratch that Hanaguma thought. Um, hmm. <laughs> hmm. What better way to learn than in the heat of battle? Although I've been taught this a thousand times, and I should know it by now. Um... I guess there's no avatar for wrong diagonal bishop. That's interesting. Uh... So we're going to see just how faulty my memory is in just a moment. If we haven't already, it's possible I might have completely effed this up beyond any hope of salvation, but um, I think this is okay, but we'll find out. <laughs> so they're hitting this in front of my king. Um... I think I've misplayed everything. Um, <laughs> how do I survive? I don't know. Nanafu. We've given the tempo back. Uh, wait. They're just going to repeat that on us if I do this again. Uh, let's put it back here this time.
All right, so no Anaguma this game, just in case it's not abundantly clear already. Um, <laughs> they have another gold general in hand. Uh, that's not good. Well, I think this is my only play. But what's wrong with it? Oh, right. I just mentioned they had another gold general in hand. I'm an idiot. In case that's not clear. Um... Hmm, and I saw this too, and then I forgot about it. Um, alright, well thank you for the game. Not even going to pretend at this point. Alright. That's okay. Uh, yeah, that was an exciting game. Um, do you want to play a third, a fourth game? How about not today, maybe some other day. Um, yeah, so... Uh, yeah, we had, I think we lost a game, won a game, lost another game. So my current record is one loss in a row. Um, but overall we're one for three on today. Uh, our opponent's pretty strong. Uh, quickly climbing up the rank, I guess. Um, yeah, seven wins in a row. That's nothing to sneeze at. So wasn't that exciting? <laughs>